All right, guys. Hello, hello. Y'all gonna get Miss Tiki in a relaxed, cozy mode because I am in vacation mode. Y'all gonna get me with no makeup. Y'all gonna get the real, true Miss Tiki. We got this vlogmas going on. I got all these videos going up. And you know what? It is exhausting. Married to medicine. Y'all didn't get to see last week because I didn't know. I don't know if they showed it on Sunday or if they showed it Friday. But I did catch it tonight. Look at these nails, y'all. They popping. Look at these nails. Anyway, y'all, Miss Quad, Miss Quad, Miss Quad. What is Miss Quad's problem? Mariah, I believe you. She wanted to be introduced to the uh, medicine wives and the, the, the people that was about some. She got introduced to the people that was about some. Now she's saying, fuck you, Mariah. She don't need that connection. So that's where in life, you guys, y'all got to be careful who y'all introducing the people and who you're bringing in your circles and who you letting get to know who. And it's sad because we say as black women, we want to encourage each other and bring each other in and help each other. But at the same time, sometimes... You're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't. Start off with basically uh, Lisa Nicole and this old sad-ass storyline about her and this man trying to have a baby that is not interested in females. I'm sorry. Um, he's handsome, Lisa Nicole, and he looks good, but your husband is not into you. I'm sorry. And one thing I don't like about all the females on here, every time they get mad, they want to go after her and say her husband is gay. You know what? That's one thing. People always want to say things to try to hurt someone, and I don't understand why, you know, if he is, oh, well, that's their business. If she's decided to live her life Dealing with a man that's going through something in his life. Look at keeping up with the Kardashians. Look at uh, Bruce Jenner. He eventually told Mama Jenna, pimp Jenna, bitch, I'm coming out. Get ready. And this is who I'm going to be. Accept me for who I am or move the fuck on. So, you know what? I just hate that the girls always want to call out that Darren is gay. If Darren wants to be gay, let Darren be gay. But anyway, Lisa was supposed to meet with Dr. Jackie and bring Darren from, you know, to the office. Uh, Dr. Jackie says she made the appointment in the evening time so both of their schedules could be clear, and uh, he didn't show up. It was to check her hormone levels or whatever and his sperm count. Well, she's fine, and he is excellent. My thing is he don't want now another baby, and he should tell her or is relevant that this is just a storyline and it's not working, okay? Tacky Toya, Tacky Tacky Toya, she's turning 40. She went and had this fabulous party. And uh, Eugene, Dr. Eugene is telling her ass, look, this house is costing us. I'm working all these extra shifts. Don't do nothing for me on my birthday, for my birthday, and we really need not to do nothing for you because we are so in debt, that I can't even fucking see straight. She want to throw this fabulous party. He telling her, look, bitch, now, you know, I really wasn't paying attention to how they came about to do the uh, 40 fabulous party of the prom, but it ended up being a party they threw. And um, I don't know, was it a, um, I don't know what the name they named this party, but the party ended up not being what they thought it would be, okay? Um, let me hit on Dr. Simone right quick, fast, in a hurry. They found her father dead, and um, she's very sad. She's sitting up t talking to her husband about it. And um, it sounds like Dr. Simone really didn't have a great, you know, relationship with her father. And when she went looking for him and wanted to fix things, it was too late. They found his body, I think, unrecognizable or decomposed, and they gave her a phone call. They said he had been in an abandoned house. And uh, he probably was just homeless and had issues. And it kind of sounded like he reached out to her and she didn't, you know. I don't know. I'm just assuming, you guys. I don't know what the back line story is. If somebody know, hit me down in the comments. Um, so basically, you know, they found the father dead. Um, Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie, basically, I think they done moved into them a home. <laughs> the home was like something that one of us can afford, not as grand. And I know Dr. Jackie makes some excellent money. Um, she just basically, uh, I did, what's her husband on there? Did I see her husband? I don't know. 
All I seen was Dr. Jackie was, um, they, she had an unpacking party. All the girls came over. And uh, like I said, I missed last week's episode. But uh, I guess she basically put Dr. Heavenly ass out of there or somebody for talking loud or whatever went, went on. And when Dr. Heavenly showed up to the unpacking party, she wants to apologize to Dr. Jackie and say, I meant no disrespect at your lookbook party or whatever it was. You know, we just get loud and you know, there was no disrespect taken, you know, or meant. She basically kind of apologized in her indirect mode. And while they're at the unpacking party, uh, Dr. Simone sits and she's, you know, talking to Quad and she tells Quad because she don't want to spoil the party, party that they found her father dead. And basically they go in the bathroom, Quad and Dr. Simone, they bond, they start crying together. Dr. Jackie looking around like, what's going on? Where's my girlfriend at Dr. Simone? Because they really cool in real life. And when she goes into see, you know, what's going on. She see them in there crying. She go to Quad because this motherfucker deserved a Grammy tonight. Quad trying to get a spinoff. Quad is trying to get a spinoff. Okay, bravo. Andy, I don't know who over uh, married to medicine, but somebody get his bitch a show so she can quit acting brand new. Because somebody going to drag that hoe. They're going to grab that ass and drag her. And I'm going to be like, oh, okay. She deserve it. So she in there boohooing harder than Dr. Simone, even though it's Dr. Simone's father that was found dead. Quit quad in there <gasps> making the ugliest face she can because she is devil motherfucking stated, okay? I'm like, Bravo, bravo, give it to Quad. She wins tonight for the ass of the fucking night. Quad, you need to go have a seat in the fuck section. I don't care. I'm not coming for Quad, but Quad doing team too much, my opinion. So anyway, they all get to crying and whatever, whatnot. And then, you know, they talk about the prom they want to uh, have. And I guess it ends up being Tacky Toya's uh, birthday party. She's turning 40. I see Carrie shows up and uh, all the other girls and everybody sends in an old picture that they won't present it. And they comparing the old, I guess, basically to the new Dr. Heavenly woke 250 pounds, 239 or something. She said she had lost a lot of weight. She looks good. And, um, that bitch is an alcoholic is what we find. And now in that coffee cup, which we have all already known it was alcohol everybody's finding out that dr heavenly is an alcoholic okay and that's why her mouth's so slick and somebody gonna drag her ass for the season over so anyway they there the pictures are there they're comparing then and they dates and dr heavenly that motherfucker didn't have nothing he took me to get a a motherfucking wa uh, a, a water burger or something she said a beef burger and everybody else went to tony romo's that motherfucker didn't have no money or nothing that bitch got some serious issues okay <laughs> but looking at a picture he probably didn't want to take her no motherfucking way he probably didn't want to embarrass himself you know how these youngsters is you know well you know how people are they want the prettiest the the, the, the light skin the mix they want you know you know how america is they they fucking crazy at times but anyway um, they at the party, uh, tacky told you being tacky, everybody going up to say something nice about it, which <laughs> don't nobody really go up there. So Carrie get up there and say, bitch, happy, fabulous 40, you close to 50 and everybody sitting there like, what? <laughs> so of course, I said, yeah, she's 40, that's 10 years from 50. And, um, basically doctors, uh, well, she said, do anybody else want to come up here and say anything? Nobody goes. So Miss Tacky told you being tacky. As usual, says uh, Lisa Nicole, I think this is a great time for you to come and apologize to me. And I'm like, if I can remember when you two got into it, bitch, you read her for filth, you handed her at her ass, and you called her husband gay. But you ain't here for me because I ain't the one to gossip. So Lisa Nicole's be a, be the bigger person, and she goes up there and apologize. And Tacky Toy, you finally say, I'm sorry, too. Because Lisa Nicole said, I did what I did because you hurt my feelings. So Lisa... um. Dr. Jackie, no, y'all, excuse me. <laughs> um, Dr. Simone and Mariah decides to go out and kind of discuss, you know, what has basically happened to their friendship. And it boils down to Miss Quad. Miss Quad has came in between them. Mariah's upset because she felt like she took Quad, Dr. Simone took Quad's side when everything happened. And she even voted her out the group. Mariah's hurt because Mariah said, I knew you before. You knew her, and I brought this bitch around, y'all. And y'all can't see 
that this bitch is an opportunist, basically, is what Mariah's saying. They just discuss it, getting a little loud, like, you know, people do or we do. And Taki Toy walks out there because she feel like they're getting into it. And when she walk out there, all she hears quiet, quiet, quiet. So she's like, and this shit ain't going to go on at my party. This bitch walking around with a fucking uh, um, tiara on her head. Because she says she feel pretty. And everybody's saying the bitch just tacky. Tacky told you, you are tacky. You you did win for the night. You the tackiest one in the room. So anyway, she goes out there and try to play. Like, she's stopping some. They say they're not fighting. They're just having a discussion. And, um, of course, Miss Quad come out there. And she, I don't appreciate nobody discussing me. They, they trying to explain to this bitch, ain't nobody discussing you. You ain't about shit. You ain't never been shit. And you ain't going to be shit. So, Miss Quad gets to go on the fuck off. And Mariah does not like Quad anymore. She was... Handing this bitch her ass in the shadiest way that you could ever do it. Miss Quad wasn't even coming back with the comeback. She was coming back with the ghetto. And I can't stand none of you bitches in this group. And on that note, the rest is to be continued. I took notes, but I just summed it up. And uh, Miss Morale wanted for the the shadiest one of the night. She even outshaded <laughs> Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly be drunk. She be shading the shit out of everybody. And you guys, y'all have a lucky night, lucky day. Thanks for hanging out with me with Vlogmas. And this is my Married to Medicine. Good night.